What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Witness Wednesdays. You might recognize this from the last episode, uh, where we were having trouble with the windmill, and I don't know if I actually found the way to do it, or if I literally just came across like kind of a glitchy way to do it. I'm not really sure. So we're going to try it again, because this kind of worked this last time. So one of the things that happened was basically this wouldn't let me transfer and it still doesn't right so when i cross over here it still snags me back to this one but what i ended up doing was going this way and then getting stuck and it teleports you back over here so i went forward just a little bit and let that blade clip me and then it threw me back over here so that's another way you can go about doing it because then you you skip that one and then when this comes back, you know, you can grab it. I think. Hopefully. Alright. And that should be the last one for that obelisk. So again, I don't really know that that's the way you're supposed to do it. Uh, it's just the way that finally worked. And I was having such trouble with that before, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah, I can't talk today. Gift horse in the mouth is what I was trying to say. And our theory was correct here. Because it did fill that out. Okay. So, we're still missing that top one. That I don't really know where it is. And we're still missing this one. And that shape looks familiar. I swear I've seen it somewhere. I just really don't know where. Um, let's see, if we're like this, it's gonna go out that direction. So what's this way? I guess it could be in this tree area somewhere, because this is kind of awful empty for there not to be anything going on. Hmm. I don't know, but that shape looks really familiar. I really feel like I've seen it somewhere. But when you get over here, now you're in a whole other different obelisk area. So I'm not really sure between the two where that would come from. Unless it's got to be in the village somewhere, right? Like, that's just the next logical conclusion I'd have to come to. I suppose it's possible... I don't know if there's another temple area. I mean, not, not temple, uh, another obelisk anywhere that this area would get pulled to. I'm not really sure. Um, okay, so that's another obelisk right there, so I don't know. I don't think that would work because everything in this area is probably going to go to that one. I, it, that's my theory anyway. I'm not 100% sure of that fact. I'm just thinking when you have stuff that's closer to another obelisk or monolith or whatever they're called, um, then it kind of seems like that would go to that obelisk then, right? You know? Um, but I don't really know for sure. I mean, it's not very exact science-y. But that definitely looks like some kind of road. That's that's all I keep seeing is some kind of road or path or branch or something. Ooh. Where are you? Did I know about you before? That's the windmill. Perhaps it's in here somewhere. I don't recall doing any environmental puzzles in here. Hmm. Interesting analogy. Like the heart in the veins and stuff is like branches on a tree. It's kind of different. I didn't see that before, I don't think. Either that or it's been a long time since I've been in here. One of the two. Um, it could be in this region somewhere. Because I don't, I don't see a way to get high enough up that it could be the actual roads we're walking on. In this area, anyway. 
Not to mention we're definitely pointing a different way than the obelisk is now. So I'm still trying to completely wrap my head around the directional focus. That seems to be the way things work. I mean, this is all on the windmill. And if we look that... Uh, the windmill's kind of over there, so it's kind of like a general direction, I guess. I'm not really sure. It's it's definitely puzzling me. Yeah, <laughs> get it? Puzzle? Maybe? No? Okay. Um, what about this? This might get us up taller. Oh, here it is, right there. Got it. Bam! I don't know why that was so easy to find. <laughs> Like, I just walked up here and was like, oh, there it is. Right there. Looks like a snake in the sand. Okay. Well, that solved that. Now, this does bring an interesting question to mind. Uh, never mind. No, it doesn't. It's on a side all by itself. I was going to say that kind of raises the whole... I, I'm still not 100% sure whether I'm correct in the whole... When they're higher on the totem, they're higher in the puzzle because all of this was done on the solar temple up top and then this was done underwater in the bottom but these three weren't these three were done somewhere else they were all like in the temple but they were still done somewhere else this was done outside the temple these two were inside so i'm not sure if i i'm, I'm i've been looking at that cloud but i'm wondering if I'm letting that kind of skew me to where I'm not really seeing the real puzzle. I have no idea. I could totally be wrong on that point. I don't know. All I know is that cloud really looks like a puzzle. And it has yet to be able, or it has yet to let me solve it in such a fashion. So it makes me wonder if I'm right about that one. Now, I said that about the other puzzle before, down here, and also managed to solve it, so, you know. It does make me wonder, though, is this a lighting thing, perhaps? Like, if I turn a light on... I know we used the lights before, but I'm wondering if that gives me any kind of, like, a shadow somewhere that would let me solve it in that manner, or what? I'm not sure, but it's worth investigating. Let's give it a go. I mean, what's the worst could happen? It's not the answer to our problem. Hmm. I'm not thinking this is gonna work, but like I said, it was worth a shot. Hmm. I'm not seeing any shadows or anything that look like the shape. It's really kind of a simple thing, too. Like, we're just looking at a... Um, we're basically just looking for a curve. That's all it really is. So it's kind of equally parts frustrating and concerning, I guess, when you can't find something that simple. Because you're kind of like, you know, you find all these other complex ones, and then you can't find a curve. It's like, really, guys? That's why I'm so hung up on that cloud. I really think that's it. But I, I can't just seem to get it to work. Ever. At all. Not, a li not even a little bit. Okay. And I've... Well, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say I've yet to see an environmental puzzle underground... Even though I just walked past one that we'd already solved, so it completely ignore that. And there's one in this room as well. So, you know, this is why we think before we talk. Because oftentimes we're wrong. Okay, so this unlocked here. I don't remember what happens when you go up that way. But now I think we're in a different zone. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we have these three. I think I found three more. So we probably have all the hex puzzles, now that I'm thinking about it. I know I have at least two screenshots of puzzle of the hex puzzles. 
Uh, the part I don't know is if I have complete if I've unlocked the third and I just forgot to take a picture of it or if I've yet to unlock it I don't really know but this is driving me kind of nuts um mainly just because I'm only one puzzle down from solving my first obelisk and I have no idea if it's not that cloud I have no idea where it is and if it is the cloud I have no idea how to get it to work so I'm equally parts uh, frustrated and perplexed, basically, is how this is going at the moment. Um, and like I said, I, you know, it's kind of one of those I probably should be kind of moving on at this point and trying other obelisks and things like that, but it's just really kind of driving me nuts that I haven't been able to find this one. And it's even going to drive me more nuts if I know that cloud is what I'm looking for and I just have not been able to get it to work. The reason I keep bringing that up is that this part right here just looks so fake to me. Um, I don't know why. It just it looks very... like it doesn't belong there. And it's also pretty much in the shape that I'm looking for. So there's that. But, like the thing in the sand, I was looking for a road and it was a tiny little thing, so it's highly possible that I'm looking for a very small uh, puzzle, like on a rock somewhere here, and I've just been walking right past it. I mean, that's kind of the nature of this game, right? Is everything's kind of right in front of your face and you don't see it. Okay. So, there is that over there. The one puzzle was solved there, the other one was solved there, and the other two were in the temple. So we've kind of got this as a fan... a fanned out radius kind of thing that we can work with. Um, I haven't found any environmental ones in this region either, which makes this kind of suspicious. It also makes me wonder if there's a spot in here where you can get the cloud in the right pose or something. So I'm going to keep my eye open on that. Um, I think for comments, I'm going to refer to kind of like a hot-cold system, I think is what I'm going to go with. Like, I don't really want people telling me, yes, this is where it is, this is how you do it, go do it kind of thing. I'd, I'd kind of like to solve them. But I don't mind people being like, yes, it's the cloud. Or something like that. Like, when I've already guessed it, and I think I'm on the right track, I don't mind confirmation. That's something that I think I'd be okay with, is it's like you're on the right track, you're getting warmer, you're getting, you know. Um, I just don't know that I want it to be like, hey, go over here, stand here, do this, you know. But when I have a theory or an idea about how to solve it, I think I'm okay... I think I'm okay with people kind of directing me in that regard of like, yeah, you're kind of on the right track, keep going. Or it's like, you know, you're getting, getting closer, keep that train of thought, you know. Um, and that's my uh, not so subtle way of being like, hey guys, am I looking at the right thing? Because <laughs> I just don't know. This could be it, actually, if I can make a circle out of this somewhere. That kind of looked like it for a second. That little curve there kind of looks like a circle but then the inner part doesn't look right this is what happens when you play this game for too long though you just start seeing circles and lines and puzzles everywhere kind of reminds me of that old song you know they're all around me beneath me you know it's kind of one of those cannons to the left of me cannons to the right of me uh i thought about the reflection too like maybe there's not a spot where the clouds gonna work but the reflection might I really like I said it's a curve shape and this just has a perfect curve shape so it just kind of looked like that's gotta be it but the more I try and the less it works I don't even get the little sparkle thing you know uh, the more I'm starting to doubt that theory but the other reason I'm kind of keeping hold to that theory is if that's not true I have literally no idea where the other thing is that I'm supposed to be looking for. Um, 
So that's kind of daunting. The idea that, like, you know, you really just don't have a clue where to look. I mean, it could be a tree branch. It could be, it could be all kinds of stuff. And generally, at least from my experience with this game, it's difficult, but it's not impossible. Um, it kind of mirrors a Dark Souls structure in that regard, that it's, it's a difficult process, but it's not designed to be like, you can never figure this out kind of thing. Like, it, it still has... I still, th I swear there's going to be an environmental puzzle with the sun. And I mean, I know we used that uh, in, in the hidden one, so I guess there was. I mean, I guess we already found it. I kind of forgot about that one. But, I don't know, it's just one of those, like, it's a giant circle and this whole game is based around circles and lines. So it just feels like there should be... Uh, like I said, I kind of forgot about it, but I guess that ending hidden one is kind of like the ultimate puzzle hidden Easter egg because it's basically all the credits and you know what if the what if the puzzle is like a dream in your head kind of thing and it's actually you know you're you're a person doing this you know so it, it was kind of cool it was kind of cool um, how they did all that but. I, I mean, I guess that I was meaning, I guess, more like the center of the island and then like the whole island unlocks and, you know, something crazy happens. Um, and I don't know, somebody told me that if you've unlocked that hour long hidden one and all that kind of stuff, that it actually changes the ending. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm kind of hoping it is because the ending we got when we first did it was kind of meh like it just kind of ends um the hidden one wasn't bad that was kind of a different one like it's all a dream or a, an experiment in your head kind of thing seriously the where is this curve i cannot find this curve it's driving me nuts it's literally driven me up the wall <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, I'm really not sure. I'm really, really not sure where this is. Like, this was a different side on the po on the on the monolith, though. So I can't see it being over here, because this was it's not curvy, and this was a whole different side. But I just I'm not seeing anything else, and it's kind of has to be in this area, right? Because otherwise, like we've said before, it would be on a different monolith. So it's almost like you're in the right area, but you're just really kind of wandering around and have no idea what you're looking for. Now, there is one thing that's a little uh, fishy, I guess, to me. And that's this alcove in here. The reason I say this is because the boat has a specific path to go down that way. And it's like, why? What's down here? So it makes me wonder if there's a puzzle that only is visible via the boat. So instead of hitting our head against the wall, let's actually try that real quick. Let's see if we can do anything with this. I mean, I, I guess I actually took this path before, but I didn't really see anything. Let's just go this away. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm still trying to keep my eye on that and its reflection. Because, like, over here you can almost see it. But I can't ever get out there where it would probably finally pull away. But I'm, like, I'm up here, like, looking at this cloud and everything and it's going to turn into something on this wall, I bet. More than likely something I wasn't even looking at or looking for. Like, her hair? Maybe? That looks like the end of one. By the way, that's a really cool effect. That was a really cool effect. So if that was not the case, that was still a really, really cool move to do. Like, I'm just not seeing anything. 
That hair one does kind of look like it should be a puzzle, though. I don't know if it is or not. I feel like there's a specific reason, though, they put this path on the boat. Like, there's got to be something that's only visible from this way. But I don't see anything. Like, we just drove through there and just nothing stands out, so I'm not really sure what that's for. And at this point coming up, we're almost about where you would normally go if you took the other path. So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking at, basically. Unless this is the curve. I've said it before that that looked like something. Maybe that's the curve I've been looking for. For. I still can't ever get that to line up, though. So I'm kind of skeptical about that one. Hmm. Really not seeing a whole lot that stands out to me. But it does need to be kind of in this area, though. Like, we've said that many times, so... Sure. I wonder if... I guess it could be in that room, maybe? I honestly never really even thought to look there. It just didn't seem like a thing. I'm kind of trying to keep my eye on that rock. Oh, what is that? That right there looks like something. Anything? Is that, yeah, that rock's not getting any closer together. Hmm... You're suspicious. Like, I mean, that's a perfect ring right there. Huh. So, at some point, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a thing. Let's crank this up a little bit. I'm wondering if that's going to be something we see from the ground. Oh. Nope. Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, because see, we're back in that area where if we solve something here, it's probably just going to go to that monolith right over there in the autumn leafy area. I just don't know. I cannot seem to find an actual thing for for this to work. Like I said, that one up there doesn't look like a bad option, but I'm thinking if I have even if I solve it, it's probably going to go somewhere else. Hmm. Kind of looks Maybe that's the key, is I need to be back here in the desert for this... Where'd it go? Crap, where'd it go? I lost him. For that to line up, maybe. Because if I'm in the desert, then I guess it would still count towards the, uh, the monolith I'm currently working on. I'm not getting anything. Hmm. Oh. See, it's almost like that right there actually looks pretty good. Um, but then when I actually go to do it, it's not going to go anywhere. Or is it? Hold up. Did I have the wrong idea here? Perhaps I was going the wrong direction. That actually does look like it could be a thing. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, now it's... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
I widen it out a little. No, that's not working. That does look like it could be a thing, though. And it might tie into... I mean, we're back, obviously, back out here in the desert now. Hmm. That's very curious. It makes me wonder if I've been looking in the wrong direction this whole time. I got hung up on that, uh... That cloud one over there, and the other... It might be another cloud one over here. Hmm. Intriguing. That, actually, believe it or not, that thought had never really occurred to me before now. That I was looking at just this one, and I was like, maybe there's one over this way. I think it was based on direction. I was thinking directionally, not thinking that maybe you had to be in that direction... And then the puzzle would be visible. So there's that. Huh. That's an interesting theory. Another theory might be... This one over here, but getting it to line up through the reflection down here. Instead of trying to get it to go the way I was going, which was up. See, that right there. That right there looks like an edge of something. It really does. I'm not crazy, am I? I might be crazy. I might be going a little nuts. But that really looks like it's something. Either that's a something, or that was an incredibly mean and very clever thing to do. On the design part. Um... So yeah, I'm still at a little bit of a loss. So I think we're going to actually wrap this episode up here. Because I'm kind of just wandering around at this point. I don't really want to move on. Because I only have one stupid little puzzle. One little thing. And we got two of them. So we're almost there. We're one puzzle shy. And I just can't figure out where it is. But all of my instincts. Like our theory on direction. Our theory on... Elevation, all this stuff has me looking right there. I mean, look at it. You got a little bubble, you got a little line. You got a little bubble, you got a little line. I just don't know where to tackle it from. Because everywhere I go, I can't ever get it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.